Well, I put a handle in the uh, dry sand scoop today. Getting ready to give it a spin somewhere. Fiberglass red handle this time. Going with red. Bought it at Sears. A little bit expensive compared to the yellow ones, but I happen to have a $10 remaining gift card, and I had to spend that plus 10, 10 bucks to get it. But anyway, we'll see how it works out. Dry sand, wet sand. Alright, there's a comparison. You can see in the middle is the Big Daddy T-Rex 9.5 inches wide compared to the two models prototypes on the sides, 8 inches. The 8 inch wet sand and the 9.5 inch original are got the same style top but you see there's more holes a lot more holes here than it is here and it's like I said it's an inch narrow as you can see as of the light sand scoop now it's got a lot of holes in it but all the holes are the same exact size Yeah, we're back at the land of the big rocks. Four hours before low tide. Four? We're gonna hunt up high. Yeah, it's five o'clock low tide here. Oh, three and a half hours anyway. It's windy, real windy from the west. We're gonna hunt up high. I must got the. I got Junior with me today, and uh, Junior, two Juniors. You don't have to worry about Junior. Junior, go deep. up on the beach. Can you believe it? Look at it. It's unearthed a nice fork. Old fork. Looks good too. As far as uh, forks go. She might clean up and be a fine ticket. Stand by. Well, this little pocket right here is uh, somewhere right along in here is where I got that uh, Union uh, Cannonball fuse I found this summer. My first ever Cannonball fuse. Found it right there in that water about ankle deep. Somewhere right in this slough right here. Or this, this little uh, cut, uh, what do you call it, pocket or something. I don't know. But right here is where that Cannonball fuse came from. Maybe the soldier too. I don't even believe this. You think it could be? I'm up here high. Look where I am. I'm 25 feet from the water. I found that lead soldier bazooka shooter right in this same hole I told you about. But in the water. And by god damn, if I ain't found a, what looks to be the lower half of this chicken. I'll have to see how the halves match up when I get home. I can't believe it. I know y'all think I'm putting you on, but I swear I'm not. This is sheer blind luck right here. At its best.
There's a big land, big uh, band of black sand all the way down through here. See it? Black. Some targets in it, though. But it's really shallow stuff, you know? Some of the stuff that I'm taking pictures of is right in this band right here. Hey. For just a brief moment, I was excited until I turned it over. It's a grommet of some sort. See something in the right shape. I don't know what it is, so I stand by. But the shape I can't tell if it's a pipe fitting, I mean a, a copper pipe fitting or a ring. I have to get it cleaned up a little bit. Stand by. He says my damn ring's a pipe fitting. Ain't well, no ring, he said. Piece of junk copper, he said. <laughs> ah, damn, you got some crap too. I got quite a bit of money, didn't I? Yeah, we both got a fair amount of clad. Yeah. Actually, some of this is from this morning, come to think of it. Yeah. Probably half. Well, what do you think of that scoop while you used it? That scoop's nice. I didn't even know I had it sometimes. It's nice and like that, compared to that monster you've been toting around for six months. Okay, stand by. Well, there's the nut for the day. A lot of pennies. Some dimes. But you saw the best of it. I don't know if it's a match or not, but they line up pretty good. But they're not perfect by any means. The bottom half of A, a lead soldier. Same area, but this baby came from high up, as I, I told you. A little gray matter. And this ring, I thought was a ring, uh, I think it is a pipe, some kind of piece of copper pipe. But it's got the word PEX. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but right there it says PEX. And the other side it's got the same thing, PEX. I took a better picture of it, but I think it's just a copper uh, piece of pipe cut with a little piece cut, cut off of it, you know. Well, let's see here. Let's see. We stick this man up here like this, and we set this man right here like that. We can almost put him together. Bazooka Man. It was so windy I couldn't say much about the scoop today. You wouldn't be able to hear it anyway if I'd have said it. I took the uh, 8 inch dry sand scoop as Ron calls it. And uh, he saw I put a handle in this morning. I used it for 3 hours a day. I let Kenny borrow it for about an hour or so. And I used that 9.5 inch monster that he uses. Anyway. Those of you. Stand by. Somebody's calling me. Where were we? Um. Those of you that have used the Pro Scoop that Steve used to make, uh, this is almost uh, a match for it. I believe the, uh, I don't have mine because I sold it, but I believe this is a little longer this way than the, than the uh, Pro Scoop. I think it is. And the top is a little teeny bit, maybe, well, this is a dry sand one, so the top is narrower anyway on this scoop. But of course, Steve was a 90 degree handle, and this one's uh I don't know what that is, 75 maybe, 80. But uh, someone was making a comment that they didn't think it was a very heavy duty scoop. And Ron calls it dry sand use only, but I'm going to have to disagree with Ron on that. I use it for three hours a day and I can tell you, I take it anywhere. I take it in the mountains, dirt digging rocks. 
it's a uh, it ain't even whimpered a bit you can see it's got nice wells on it it's uh and what's 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 uh what makes it so nice or nice if you want to say it's a little heavy is the is the diameter the thickness of the metal you can see it's uh not very thick i mean not very thin it's a lot thicker than the stava and it's a lot thicker than the pro scoop that steve used to make i mean i think it, i said he weighs two point some pounds i forgot what it was now 2.89 or something but for those of you who like small hole scoops this dry sand scoop that he calls eight inch dry sand scoop would make a hell of a beach scoop i can tell you that i can tell you nothing would give on that baby at all now i guess he calls it a dry scoop just in case somebody were to buy it were to break it some kind of way he has to say you well you bought the wrong scoop you should have got the the water scoop the wet scoop or whatever but like i said i disagree with that opinion completely now after using it this baby is tough but like i said just look how thick it is it's a it's a it's another thickness thicker than the uh, pro scoop or the stava scoop in material wise anyway and like i said it works good it was a uh, fast but you know I've, uh, I've gotten away from small hole scoops but it works really good i'm going to try it for a couple more days Stand by.